Hello and welcome to this week's story time. Last week Lizzie told you all about David who was Jesse's youngest and smallest son but God had chosen him to be the next king. Well in those days God's people had some scary enemies and the scariest of all were the Philistines. The reason they were the scariest of all was because they had a secret weapon. Their secret weapon was called Goliath. Do you remember him from the Sunday School War? He was so strong and so scary and so, so tall. Well, just so you remember how tall, I took a picture beside him. There I am, beside Goliath, and I just about come up to his middle. He was such an enormous soldier. Well, Goliath would come out onto the hill and shout out to all God's people, Who is going to fight me? Nobody moved. Nobody made a sound. They were terrified. What were they going to do? Well, some of David's older brothers were in the army. And one day, Jesse said to David, I want you to go and take them some lunch. So David set off. And when he arrived, he saw the enormous Goliath and he heard his booming voice but David said don't be afraid I'll fight him well when the king heard this he said David you are too little David said don't worry God will help me the king said if you're going to go and fight Goliath you'll need to have my special armour and you'll need to have my huge sword. David picked them up but oh, they were too heavy and too big. He just couldn't take those. I can't do that said David and he went down to the stream and he picked out one, two, three, Four, five smooth stones. He put them in his bag and he set off to fight Goliath. When Goliath saw him coming, he stepped forward to meet him. Thud, thud, thud. The whole ground shook. He looked down at David. You're far too little to fight me, he said. But David said, I may be little, but my God is great and he wins all his battles. And he took one of his stones, he put it in his sling and he launched it at Goliath. The stone flew through the air like a bullet and hit Goliath right between the eyes. Goliath fell down with an almighty crash. When the Philistines saw their secret weapon was dead on the ground, they ran away as fast as they could. When God's people saw what had happened, they cheered, hooray! God had saved them. David was a hero. Well, many years later, God sent another hero to save his people, King Jesus. He didn't save God's people from the Philistines. He saved them from all the bad things they'd done so that they could be friends with God again. Well, we're going to end our story time by singing that song you learnt last week with Lizzie called Jesus is the King. Don't forget to sing along and clap and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>